Okay, dokie. This is um, what is it? Membrane. Um, video number two. Costume number two. So I'm going to show you this costume here. I use this costume for my telephone tease act, where I sing into my microphone a telephone. Yes, it's a real microphone, and uh, do a blues number called uh, "Meet Me with Your Black Drawers On." So it's very, I wanted a very boudoir feel, but also I love 90s Chanel, very opulent, chain belts, chain detail, gold and purple. I have these cuff details with the chains um, hand sewed onto them over a darker purple, darker purple around the waist, again a chain on the wrist, and I have this chain detail on the bottom of the skirt in rhinestones so there is a chain um, rhinestone stencil on your design sheet too um, and this was kind of the practice run for it I just love the chain detail it's very different and unique it has a bit of a fashion feel for me and this is a topaz color stone um, on the purple trim okay. so here I have some lingerie some Dita Von Tees lingerie uh, I wanted that boudoir feel, as I said, boudoir, very Australian. I wanted a boudoir feel. And I highlighted the, I made this a front opening one. That's why it's in two halves. Front opening, doesn't fit my mum boobs anymore, unfortunately. Here, let's get a close up. So the existing detail is really beautiful, that quilting. So I'm not going to cover that. It's gorgeous how it is. So I just wanted to highlight the lace, very feminine, and put something a little bit interesting on the back. So on the back there, it starts heavy, it gets lighter. Uh, I made this costume three years ago and wore it on tour for the Australian Burlesque Festival 2018. Yes, I did. Had I had one of your, one of our Stardust rhinestone stencils, would have made it a lot quicker and easier to do. So ta-da! There's the stencil, you slam it down, and you can use the mix of um, sizes or just do 20s, just do 16s. It's a nice, even scattering that you can use on hot fix and glue on. Amazing plug there, Ella. I have Aurum Gold, which is a nice kind of vintage gold. I have a amethyst, a light amethyst in there, and then also Tanzanite AB. That's this guy here, shines gold and purple, bringing those other colors together. I've put the lighter colors on this dark purple to really um, make it stand out. If I were to use a similar color to this purple, I would probably use purple velvet um, to match, but I prefer a bit of contrast. That touch of gold ties it and the um, touch of gold in the tanzanite brings it back to the gown. Love that quilting detail. Not going to mess with it, but use the other sections, uh, outer sections to do the golden purples, jet on the side for something different, and jet across the back panel. These knickers, this the lace on the butt already had little um, dot details in the fabric, and I just placed my crystals over the dots for a sparkly sparkly bottom mm -hmm. there are two snaps on the front here so i forget to look at the actual camera two snaps on the front here for my skirt i love this shape i have a couple of costumes with this shape skirt on it it's an extra thing to take off um i'm not a fan of my butt or my hip dips which means my hips go Boom, boom, and this for me gives a little bit of a smoother appearance. What it is is just a semicircle, straight across the top, curve at the bottom. Um, made in power mesh, so no sewing here, no seams, nice and stretchy. Um, fits nicely over me. Pretend that this is my butt. You're looking at the two snaps on the end. Snap onto the knickers at the front. Da da. And uh, I found this beautiful trim in like an op shop and it just happened to have all the different colors in my costumes, um, a nice bit of movement on the bottom. 
so that I hand sewed on and I have this really nice um, striped chevron shape with again with the Aurum crystals, the AB Tanzanite and the light, um, what am I saying, light amethyst, bringing it all together. I put little epaulettes on it, little epaulettes on the shoulders just for something a little bit more glamorous. I made a matching brooch dun, 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 and matching earrings. These are findings, all the metal components findings I got from a shop called Gem World in North Brisbane, but I think you can find them online pretty, pretty easily. I think Baroque style um, earring components and brooch. So very kind of opulent and glamorous. And of course my telephone, my telephone, my, my telephone. So here it is, needs a bit of a, a tidy up. So I sing into my telephone, which is also a microphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sing, meet me with your black drawers on and then take my clothes off. And this is just covered in lights I am. Whew, a few missing there. Lights I am, uh, SS30s because I was not gonna spend hours doing this bullshit. E6000 um, clear on plastic and just followed the shape of my telephone. Okay, any questions, let me know. Let me know, add some comments below. Hopefully you get some tricks from that. Yeah, see you later.